So I recently made a video about CC Cleaner and how you really shouldn't be using it anymore. One, it had malware a couple years back, and two, it just has a lot of bloat built into it, even adds to your running processes, which I am a hawk on. Let's get on the desktop. I wanna show you the tool that pretty much every professional uses nowadays to really delete files. Use it responsibly, of course. So let's uh, kind of walk through all of it does and show you my desktop. Right here at bleachbit.org, you can download it. They do have some really funky ads everywhere. It's just part of the internet. If you didn't want to download it from here, uh, from their .org, you could always just go into your PowerShell and just do like a win, get, search, bleach bit. And then you can see this is the ID. So you could actually install it from here because it's completely free and open source. So peers have reviewed this and it's, in wide circulation. That installed, we can close out of that. I will add this to my Windows utility that I'll get to in a minute. And just to kind of show you what the system's doing in a future video as I'm trying to, trying to piece together all these different things about making the lightest version of Windows possible. Well, that's 47 processes with Brave running in the background. Yeah, memory usage, 1.2 gigs. This is a pretty light system. Uh, and if we close out of some of these processes, I bet it drops a bit. Yeah, there we go, 42, nice, the meaning of life. So let's move out of this and start cleaning up this computer even more as I haven't really deleted any temp files and I probably deleted stuff. Uh, you can clean out everything in here. Uh, we'll delete passwords. Do we wanna do that? Nah, I like to keep the passwords. Usually when you get these warnings, you typically, if you don't know what it is, hit cancel. Because if you just hit okay to everything, it's gonna delete pretty much everything on your computer. So don't do that. Be really careful on how you scan with BleachBit and how you use this because it will, oh, it will definitely de delete more than you think is possible. Way more than a lot of those more old, older programs that we used to use like CC Cleaner. Uh, Vim swap files and other stuff you can do, but. Typically, I don't even do deep scan. I just kind of wanted to show it and also show those warnings. Pay attention to those pop-ups because if you just blatantly click, okay, I can't say this enough, you will delete more than you want. Uh, and then Internet Explorer, uh, definitely delete everything there. And then you can clear out system clipboard, all those things. Uh, free space, typically you want to avoid that. It's going to be really slow if you do that. Windows Explorer, again, uh, recent documents, typically I do like to clear these out every once in a while. And that's about it. So for this Windows system, this is kind of the stock settings I like. There's a lot more that you can do with BleachBit. They actually have their own programming language. And uh, I think it's like cleaner in an ML. I'll leave a link to my article that shows a little bit more in depth. But if you have Discord, if you have a lot of other programs, it will go and clean the temporary files from those programs too. So quite a bit better than your typical old, you know, hey, buy our pro version BS uh, that you typically would download online. So we'll just hit clean here. And the cool thing is it kind of shows you everything that it's cleaning, how many bytes are here. You can see there's really not too much uh, as far as uh, files. I only recovered about 76 megs worth of data, which is not bad. Another way I would clean up a computer is usually do disk cleanup and do clean up system files. Take a look, a lot of times your Windows updates and other stuff, using disk cleanup is gonna be a better net result than just using BleachBit. I always like to use them in tandem, so I'll do both the disk cleanup here and then run BleachBit. Usually that gives me a really nice, clean system. Uh, and it also kind of clears out a lot of the cache and junk that resides on. But a pretty fast one today with BleachBit, definitely use it. I'm currently working on revamping some of my tools and other things to add uh, BleachBit, add temporary file cleanup uh, with disk cleanup, and then some other uh, really nice quality of life things to really get a minimal version of Windows. And then I will definitely be doing an update to it and producing a video called Extreme Windows D Bloat, where we take it down to Windows XP levels. And uh, we're gonna even compete with the process counts while also making it game worthy to where we can launch Steam and play games on it. I think all these things together will produce for those Windows users out there, the perfect system uh, to game on, or maybe you have a single use for Windows and you wanna just use it for either gaming or use it for video production, whatever it might be, you can do that and not have all that bloat. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.